Hey guys, how's it going? Back to another video today. Today it's pretty shit this game as you can see, but that's not going to stop us for the plans that I have today. As well as that, as you know, I'm up to six days a week now of training, so I'll talk just more about that in the video later on. So yeah, I've got plenty of stuff to do today. I'm going to keep the location I'm going to secret for now, but I will show you it when I get there, and fingers crossed that the weather doesn't get any worse, I'll be able to go to it. So if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe and sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Alright, so you might be able to hear some sizzling going on behind me, getting the breakfast ready. But in the meantime, I thought I'll throw you a little bit of a plot twist. I'm just back from a and &E now. I thought I may have broken my foot, but thankfully it's only soft tissue damage, which means that we can continue on with this prep. Uh, I was just wanting to get it checked out there to make sure everything was alright, because I did drop a substantial amount of weight on my foot yesterday, which wasn't the smartest thing. So I was just getting it checked out to make sure everything was alright and that everything could still continue on track as it was only issue is i have to take things easy for the next few days but we can definitely still get stairmaster fitted in and of course today is upper body so that's a positive as well so i'll keep this updated with anything that maybe happens with my foot all right so i'm just going to show you some dad hacks here that i have found really really helpful over the past few days or so so basically again zero calories are the way forward so firstly sour patch Kids, okay, so for eight of these sweets, it's 72 calories. I have like one or two of them a day at most. It works out being nine, cal nine calories per sweet, so it's not too bad anyway. So that's the first sweet trick, so basically zero calories. The second one, this is a bit more of a healthy one, but I was getting these light and free yogurts before. They were much smaller and they were by a different company, but because with everything that's going on around the world, Brexit, etc., They've now changed the skier, and as well as that, they've got 14 grams of protein per pot, whereas the other ones only used to have about nine. So there's an extra few grams of protein, as well as them being bigger, and they're just a nice wee snack to have if you are struggling. So mixing the sour patch and maybe even a wee yogurt, that's two ways then in which you can then just get some calories in that are low, and which will then allow you to stay in a deficit. Now is it just me or do you think it's a little bit weird that there's just multicoloured houses sitting in the middle of a street where there's plenty of other houses and other things like there's even more down there like what is going on like why is there just multicoloured houses? Now with these palm trees and the look of that house it definitely makes me feel like I'm on holidays. Yes the weather is still absolutely shit but we're getting up to that lighthouse we're going up there and around the corner so it should be fun but for now that house three door garage Looks pretty cool to me. No better day than today to go into the wee caves and become bar grills and have a look at all the different things. So yeah, stay tuned for checking out the caves. So unfortunately I couldn't get into the lighthouse that is just there, but it's all blocked off. But you know, got to see it anyway, but there's nothing much to see. There's just a big wall around it. So yeah, it is what it is, but let's get on with it anyway. So I just realised I didn't say in the video, the place that I went to was Whitehead or Blackhead Peak it was called I think. And yeah it was just to have a look around the caves and the lighthouse as again as, as you just saw in the video. Couldn't really go around the lighthouse and as well as that the caves they weren't that deep or anything and they were extremely dark. So I couldn't really record in them. So it was more for steps and just getting out to see the views which were very nice. So if you do get an opportunity sometime, I've definitely advise you to go and have a look yourselves. Fun's done, so now it's time to get to work. So we'll see you in the gym.
So session done now, just have to do some Star Master, which is great. But at the same time, my earphones have now died. So this is gonna be a fun 20 minutes of literally listening to shit music and no podcast. So we'll just have to wait and see how this goes. Session done now, and I'm feeling really good after it. But I just wanted to jump on quickly and say that when I was going today to the gym, I really didn't feel like it. There was no motivation for me to go. And obviously you're not gonna have motivation every day. Sometimes it actually takes the discipline and the routine of going to the gym most days of the week to actually get yourself up and go. And I really had to dig deep today to find some discipline to really do it because I would have loved to have just sat down today after that big long walk that you would have seen and just done nothing the rest of the day. But it's really important for me, especially now as I am that and down, to make sure I get in the gym as much as possible. So for yourselves, if you are struggling to find motivation to go to the gym, then, you know, put on some music that would get you into the mood for maybe going to the gym, if even that, or just really dig deep and find that bit of discipline because you know after you go, you'll feel better and you'll be more grateful to yourself for then going and just getting out of the house for that hour and just absolutely boosting your morale and mentality. All right, so as this video was meant to be more of an update rather than a day in life, I just want to update you quickly and say that, as you have seen, the Stairmaster has now started. So the calories at the moment are still the same and they're not going to be changing too much. But the fat will be dropping and the steps as of today are being increased to 12,000. So originally for the last eight weeks or so, it I was sitting around 10k steps. Now it's been up to 12. So that's going to be fun to do. It's going to be tough. But this is where the time now starts to start getting fitter. As well as that, my weight has now dropped down to 78.5 kilos. So everything's going well in terms of weight loss. So I just need to keep that up for now. So anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to share and subscribe. And I'll be back very soon with another one. And until next time, goodbye.